Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's verb video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days. For today's verb video, day 10 will take us to the 24th of April. And we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the extended GFS and ECM ensembles because they run to around a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at CFSV2 at the end of the video for May. And I shall get on with that for you in a moment. Just to say that the first video today was a 6am UK weather forecast. And we've also released Joe Frey as well. So please check out those two vids if you'd like to do that. Please like, share and subscribe on the videos. Thank you so much everybody uh, for doing that. I hope you're having a lovely, lovely, lovely um, Friday. I'm um, down with cold still at the moment. So I'm still coughing and sneezing and whatnot. I think there's probably the peak of it, hopefully. So, tomorrow, hopefully, it will start to settle down. But I'll probably be hacking, <laughs> hacking my way. <coughs> I'll probably be hacking my way uh, through uh, this video. So, if you just bear with me, that'd be lovely. Right, Central Temperature hasn't updated yet as I record a video. So, provisional to the 12th of April, we, we were still sitting at 8.2, 0, 0.3 degrees above average. We will wait for an update on that and bring you back tomorrow hopefully these are the gfs upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks on the commentary today the red line is a 30 year upper air temperature average for commentary starting off around to a little bit below average at the moment we'll find the upper air temperature going slightly above average for the early part of next week and uh, men around the 22nd also above average. However, this is not as warm as it was a couple of days ago. You remember a couple of days ago about white line ensemble being uh, maybe the ensembles were doing something a little bit like that, weren't they? Um, or maybe not quite like that, but they were doing something, maybe something a little bit like that. I know. But anyway, you get the idea, but uh, the GFS ensembles have backed off the idea of, uh, of an extended spell of warm weather. We do go a little bit above average next week, so it should be warm. Well, but it looks like it's backed off on that idea. You will notice the thick green line, which is the uh, GFS operational run. We've got operational run that goes quite cold for a while as we go from the third week into the final week of uh, April. It's a little bit of a cold outlier, but there are several assault members going in that direction, precipitation wise. So, <coughs> excuse me again, everyone. Uh, it's quite unsettled today with uh, further rain to come. After that, we go uh, drier, though, through the weekend and into next week. We could buy precipitation coming back, though, from the uh, second week into the final week of April. Doesn't look as settled or as warm with that particular GFS on summer ground compared to what we've been seeing over recent days. So a wobble is going on here in terms of this warmer and drier second half to April within the GFS, anyway. Temperature anomalies from the 14th to 22nd of April coming out a little bit below average for England and Wales, a little bit above average for Scotland and also for Northern Ireland. And precipitation anomalies from the 14th to 22nd of April drier than normal for most parts of the country, but nearer and all in the eastern parts of uh, England. The latest wind from uh, nolschool.net shows that we've got an area of low pressure in the channel today, just off the south coast. That's bringing more wet weather in across the country. However, we have got a ridge now that's building in the Atlantic, and that ridge will start edging in over the weekend. <coughs> Okay, so moving on to the uh, chart data. This is how the latest you can make your run looking at midnight on uh, Monday. With high pressure ridging through the north of West Europe, the weather will be settling down. And then high pressure takes over across Scandinavia from the early part of next week. That's a classic spring Scandinavian high, as we said in yesterday's videos, video with a proper easterly wind there as well. Into the second half of next week, high pressure is maintained over to the northeast of the country winds coming in, perhaps a slightly milder southeasterly direction at that point. Should still be a lot of dry weather right way through to the end of next week. I can't again building that ridge through the north and the west of Europe through the early part of next week, sends uh, ascends into an area of high pressure by the middle of next week with winds coming in from the east. So it's quite a chilly east north east wind there, but uh, the icon on is bringing in through the middle of uh, next week. Eventually, 
lies at high pressure begin to retrogress a little bit up towards Greenland and Iceland. So it could that start to pull down a cold and northerly maybe uh, just beyond that heading up towards day 10. Speculative, but it does also have a height start pulling up towards Greenland and Iceland there. But GFS midnight run, again with that ridge of high pressure through the north and the west of Europe on Monday. Then high pressure takes over across Scandinavia through the uh, middle of next week with winds coming in from an easterly direction. So um, that looks rather chilly, particularly for the south. Should be warmer further north. Those easterly winds will have a bit of a chill to them, I think, through the middle of next week down in the south. Um, and then the high pressure, again, like what Icon is hinting at, the high pressure by the second half of next week starts to pull up towards Greens and Iceland, begins to retrogress away to the northwest and the G GFS midnight run does actually pull down a cold northerly northeasterly wind there around days eight nine and ten we saw it on the ensemble graph it is a little bit of a cold outlier but you know there's quite a few what's that really says it's an outlier because there are quite a few going <coughs> excuse me going in that direction uh several going in that direction actually but it's it's clearly at the coldest end of the range within the ensemble but anyway we bring down this cold north or northeast wind with minus five cells and ice and pushing samples again that would bring a return of overnight frost and probably wintry showers up in the north and then looking really quite unsettled with this area of low pressure dropping in from the north so cold and unsettled around day 10 not particularly inspiring is it and then it does start to turn warmer as we get towards month's end, but also a more unsettled with this area of low pressure coming up from uh, the southwest, and then maybe back to a northerly by the last day of April. That's as far as we get with uh, GFS today. So quite a quite a midnight run. Let's see what the six set is doing. So uh, this is the latest GFS run with high pressure again reaching through. The north and west of Europe through the early part of next week. Winds going into an easterly into the middle of next week. But we don't get that high pressure retrogressing to Greenland like midnight run does. Actually, the six there just keeps things generally drier and warmer up to around day 10. But by day 10, lower pressure begin to turn it a bit more unsettled in the northwest. But certainly a much warmer GFS 6 there compared to midnight run. Eventually, though, the high pressure does pull out to our west and down comes those northwesterlies through the final week of uh, April. So the GFS 6 there does turn colder eventually, um, but it takes longer to get there. We end up, by the end of April, with high pressure back in over the country, and that brings us back to mostly dry and uh, also warmer weather. <coughs> Okay, if you're enjoying the video and you don't mind the coughing, then please can you uh, like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much everybody for doing that. Drop a comment, let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gaz Web because we need to put on around 77 subscribers to get ourselves to... Um, what do we want to get to? <laughs> I'm gone, Gaz has gone. 15.8k. Uh, so uh, around 77 subscribers get 15.8k. If you could give us a sub, thank you so much. Jim at GM again with the high pressure through the north and the west of Europe uh, through the beginning of next week. High pressure goes to Scandinavia. We bring in this easterly wind through the second half of next week. Mostly dry and quite warm, I think, for the north, but got a bit of a chill with those easterly winds down in the south. They might even bring a few showers into the south and the east as well. And then the GM is also sort of retrogressing that high pressure up towards Greenland around days 8, 9, 10. I bring down this cooler or colder northerly as well. So the GM also turning quite cold, very cold actually by day 10. Got my 10 cells ice firm in across Scotland, and that's clearly going to be a cold outlier. Um, but uh, again, just a suggestion that there is a bit of a hint here that things could get cold once again with more northerly winds around uh, days sort of 8, 9, 10. And then the ECM at WF looks like that. So all much of a much issue in the early part next week. High pressure going to Scandinavia. Wind turning into that cold easterly. And then through the second half next week, mostly dry, quite um, southeasterly with the wind. So we're going to get a little bit warmer, I think, through the second half of uh, next week. And certainly no hint of a northerly at uh, days 8, 9, 10 with the uh, ECM. That keeps it mostly dry and quite warm. So more in line with like the GFS 6 there, for example. This is a precipitation forecast based on the ECM run to Plenty of wet weather 
to come over the next few hours. <coughs> <coughs> over the next few hours. Oh, sorry again, everyone. Uh, our memories are turning dry up through the weekend and into the early part of next week as well. Um, eventually, some showery weather could start pushing up from the south and southwest around days line in town. These are the options on the table within the ECM ensembles today. Four day term from the Icelandic Met Office. This will get us to the 24th of April. 15 members of the ECM ensembles have high pressure around Scandinavia, and around that winds will be coming in. The EC direction should be mostly dry and hopefully quite pleasantly mild or warm. Um, 11, through the control in the operation run with high pressure over, so to the east of the coach that brings up wind for a relatively warm southerly direction. 10, high pressure again to our south and southeast, low pressure out to the northwest. That's a little bit more unsettled maybe for the northwest, but should be quite warm. 9, going in the same direction as like the GFS midnight run, taking the high pressure up towards Greenland. And Iceland are pulling in a cold northerly, northeasterly blow. So there, you know, it's nine within the ETM ensembles going in that direction. And then six with low pressure over the country. Obviously, that's much more unsettled. It's colder as well as the high pressure has pulled out to the northwest. So cold and unsettled with those six. So we've got nine and six, 15 mem uh, members of the ETM ensembles going in the same direction for GFS, midnight run and whatnot, turning things colder around day 10 but the majority option is actually looking relatively uh, anti-cyclonic and dry and quite warm in the ecm ensembles in two week time these are the options that we've got gets 29th of april now we see that we have 20 members of the ecm ensembles with a mid atlantic ridge and a high pressure around greenland low pressure is dropping in <coughs> over <coughs> over scandinavia and that will get wind into a cold northerly direction 17 of high pressure over the country being mostly dry weather and then 14 with high pressure to the east low pressure to the west that might be a bit more unsettled but should be relatively warm with a southerly wind so again range of options there at uh, two weeks out could be cold could be uh, could be cold or could be warm or could be somewhere in between in between finally the cfsb 2 for may this is the latest 700 millibar height anomaly forecast for May from the CFS, northern blocking around Greenland, low pressure underneath it in the Atlantic, but also a ridge across southern and also central parts of Europe. And so that could be quite a warm May, actually, bringing up the wind from a southwesterly direction. Might be a little bit unsettled with low pressure in the Atlantic. In fact, do I say it could be a little bit volatile, maybe a bit thundery with like southerly flows and a bit of volatility. Uh, convection but should be quite warm so the temperature anomaly is actually quite significantly above average especially so for the south most parts of europe looking quite warm or even a little bit hot as well in most red colors and uh, precipitation wise not much of a thing but i reckon it could be quite a volatile month so maybe quite wet but also quite warm thundery in may interesting month there uh if that's right but remember it's only one forecast from the cfs and uh these do update daily right we've done if you enjoyed the video please can you like share and subscribe thank you so much everybody for doing that drop a comment let us know what you think about this and all of our videos and don't get to friends about gals web it's okay, thank you so very much everybody for doing that um just to tell you what's coming up <coughs> tomorrow we're going to have a 6 a.m. upload. Uh, we will have the weekend broadcast, a daily boarding day as well. I'll try and get the ECM WF extended done um, this evening for you. Uh, just uh, see how I see how it's evening. So that one might not appear, but the other three should definitely be uh, released um, tomorrow. Uh, you enjoy the rest of your Friday. And for this video, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.